Planet X Fest is one of the only DIY punk festivals in the world. Kids all across the country, and even parts of the world, are traveling anywhere from a few minutes to a few days to attend. I drove down from Wisconsin. So we came from Philly. I am from Missouri. They drove three hours in the wrong direction. Us two are from Tennessee. She's just from down the road. I came from New Jersey, yeah. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. We drove from California out here. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Pumped beer at the eight hour drives like nothing for that. From its inception in 2004 to its conclusion in 2016, Planet X Fest has been a gathering for like minded individuals to appreciate music and connect with each other. I came out here because I've always been a huge fan of uh, Planet X Records. Uh, I've followed Pat the Bunny since early high school, and I was not going to miss up the chance to see him play his last show. Um, it's been excellent out here, you know, everybody is really looking out for one another. Um, you just get this sense of camaraderie with everyone, you know, people are willing to help you out whether it's setting up your tent, whether it's bringing coolers down. A lot of really cool people out here. I'm really, really honored to be able to uh, meet all these people and experience this. Most people like have similar ideologies of like anarchy or community and they just think the rest of the world's really shitty and are trying to create this like small place where we actually like give a shit about each other and there's signs that say be nice to each other and be excellent to everybody and it's just, I don't know, that's just like everything I want out of the world. And like, if this could just be here all the time, it'd be pretty great. <laughs> when you show up to Planet X Fest, it's like one of the truest forms of communal living that you can find within the confines of the United States, like within the oppression and tyranny of capitalism and like, you know, personal and corporate greed. You know, this is like the one bastion of like almost true freedom of pretty much any kind of expression you want to like feel free to use, unless it's of course harmful to somebody else or derogatory, which is nice, you know what I mean? It's super pleasant, you know? Everybody over here I feel gets the feeling that they can be the truest like form of themselves that they possibly can without any form of repercussion, and that's fucking beautiful because the world owes it to everybody for them to be able to have a little bit of comfort, a little bit of something. Like sure, conflict is great or whatever, but everybody deserves to be comfortable at one point or another. And I feel that if you truly see comfort, Planet X Fest is like a fantastic place to come and find it because the camaraderie here and like the passion among all the people here and the ideas exchanged and the workshops are absolutely beautiful and it's it's like a bastion of hope you know what I mean like anytime I ever think about something or every time I feel disconnected from society at large I can come back and think that this is beautiful and I always have this it's definitely like if even if you don't like dig the music that much, like it's still like worth coming to because there's so many different yeah. events and like the workshops have all been really, really cool. And the people running the workshops have been really friendly and the staff is like working really hard to make sure everything is like going well. Like what really sticks out to me is that um, one of the porta potties is like, like um, wheelchair accessible. And I think it's really cool that the staff went out of their way to make sure like other people had like ability to like come to the fest even if they aren't like, like yeah. fully bodied. I don't know, to me it's a space that is that tries to be as inclusive as possible and I think that's pretty rare in festivals and I think uh, it's for a festival like this having bands all on one stage so you don't have to miss a band if you don't want to um, and to me as an organizer the best thing about this festival is the people that come to it so I think it attracts some of the sweetest people that take care of themselves, take care of each other. And I think, uh, yeah, that's my favorite part. It's just people being kind to each other, which I think you don't see very often in the world sometimes, so. Most people here are super positive and like, it's okay to talk about like, our social anxiety and like our hopes and fears. And uh, I don't know, like I am a super anxious person and most of the time I don't feel good like striking up conversations with new people but here it's like so many other people are dealing with the same things that it's okay. It's been really amazing coming to Planet X Festival. There's been amazing music. People are having a good time and running into all the friends has been the most beautiful experience which I didn't expect. Um, so it was all last minute um, after one of my good friends passed. Um, I went from Houston the next day after I flew from Portland, immediately 
Went to Houston to get some other sun time, clear my head. Spuds aren't always like, you know, get some clarity from your family instead of just expecting friends to always be there for you. It's great and all, but sometimes you need your mama bear. And uh, came out to Austin and three days later, on a whim, jumped in with, well, my good buddy Brandon and Kristen and a few other strangers. Ever since it's been a blast. And I wouldn't have expected it to be so relaxed, per se. And it's been a really good time. Yeah, it's been an adventure, to say the least. I spend the majority of my time camping in the woods. I feel totally at home. Uh, I was actually really surprised by the amount of which I felt at home here. A lot of other festivals that I've gone to have been really new age hippie tie-dye t-shirt snorting ketamine and getting stuck in a k-hole and they can't even get to the show that they want to see so it was really cool to actually go somewhere where everyone was dedicated to not being a jackass and not a single tent has gotten ransacked since i was here which is very unique that's, that's very uncommon like i've been here for two days and you can just you know nobody's gonna you know do you wrong it's weird to get this many people together and you know kind of be confident that nobody's gonna you know fuck with you and uh, that's just such a cool thing it's it's a uh, it's a great place to you know explore yourself yourself I guess and like you know there's a lot of like queer influence as well in like this community especially in recent years because you know punk wasn't always like that but it, it's cool to see people coming together in a, in that way really it's just like everybody's so nice and so helpful and so appreciative and uh, it's just a place where like normally people that are spread out from each other and like can't like really communicate can like come together and actually, you know, figure figure out some things and uh, make friends. Uh, it's been a lot more cool, especially with the open stage this year. Like it gives like people like a medium of like being able to play despite not being like booked or anything. I think that's like the best part about this, this fest. It kind of gives people the chance to like play their own music to this kind of community because it's not like in the grand scheme of things it's not really that big but like when we all come together for something like this it really feels like it's a, a big deal it's, it's just been a big part of my life for the past four years and I've always just been a sucker for Planet X. The first night I was here I stayed up until the sun came up playing my trumpet with a group of people that I met and we just went on this insane adventure just like going through the woods and and just hanging out and playing music and that's pretty much why I came here so it was a really good night I had a good time. There's so many people who I've like met on tour and like just traveling and um, who I don't see and like maybe I get to talk to on Facebook and like see their posts or something but like they're all here and it's like it's like a big family reunion. It's great. I like get to see. I got to see so many friends, and I'm like really happy about that. And like a lot of the bands, like I know a lot of the bands, and like I get to hear them play and see them do their thing and like hang out, and it's great. And it's like outside and camping, and it's a, it's it's the best vacation I could ever hope for. Band like a bunch of really awesome bands, big bands, small bands, bands of all different kinds, and. There's also this open stage right here, which is like super cool because it gives people the chance that didn't necessarily get to play that wanted to be a part of it and like share their music to be able to do that afterwards. Punk is just so beautiful to me and I'm here because I love it and that's what I search for. I think community is super important and this is just such a great example of community just in like its most pure like essential form and it's all you know, all around there's hints of like the anarchism, the punk, and there's all these different, you know, subsects of people that all come together and, you know, get along for this, and it's really just a beautiful thing. And I've never been amongst so many peers and like-minded individuals, and it's, it's, it's the most, one of the happiest days of my life, and kind of one of the most saddest days of my life, because I'm not sure when this will happen again, and this, this, our, Planet X is more than music. It is a culture of acceptance. And I, I think that all of us, we don't just, we didn't come here for the music. We came here for love. Like everyone here loves everybody. I've not approached one person yet that has given me a negative, like, a reception. I've got to meet all of my, all of my people I look up to and they were the nicest people ever, you know? And 
it, it, it's, it's very sad to see something like this go, but it's amazing to have all these people here. And taken to perspective, this is a town of 3,200 people. We brought 1,500 people here. We brought almost half the population of the town here. We, we created a whole other town on top of a town just to have this thing. And people from, I've talked to people all over, not the United States, but the world. And I, I couldn't imagine wanting to be anywhere else but here right now. This is going to be weird, but I think we're experiencing a generational change within the genre, and if I didn't tend the first of my pixes and the last of the pixes, I was going to really regret that. <laughs> like, shit is passing the torch, I mean, especially since Eric passed and Pat's quitting. Like, I think we're, like, we're really seeing people, like, my age and of that, like, level being, like, who people recognize within folk punk. So if I don't participate in that, then I may as well just tap out too. Come, come to Pixfest if there's another one. If you haven't been, it's really great. Um, a lot of, a lot of great people, a lot of fun. Stick and poke, music, beer everywhere. Like literally, we just found, we just got this from people. You know? Yeah. So, you know, it's a great time. You should, you should definitely go. This is a really awesome place, and I hope to come back next year. I hope it keeps happening every year, and I hope it never stops. I'm really grateful to have been introduced to a world and a culture that I necessarily, didn't necessarily know existed before. Although it's rumored to be the last Planet X festival ever, no one can change the experiences had at the event, nor tarnish what Planet X Fest means to everyone who attended. Even if this was the last year, it is something that will never be forgotten and will hold a place in everyone's heart.